Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are here for a very first look at Baldur's Gate 3 in early access. I remember Baldur's Gate 2 being one of my favorite games that I'd ever played all throughout college and I gotta say that uh, it led to some nights where I probably should have been studying but instead I was playing. So that having been said, uh, I want to point out that Baldur's Gate 3 was picked up recently by Larian Studios who also worked on Divinity Original Sins 1 and 2 and they've had a phenomenal track record so I'm really really excited to check this out. That having been said, I do want to throw this out there that I'm not going to be going through the entire early access experience because I do want to reserve some of that polish and panache for when the full game does come out. But I'd love to check it out with you. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Oh, and pull this down. Oh my god, the... CG is amazing. It's nothing like a snap to show that you're a you've got true power. You just snap your fingers and things happen. Guys, some serious Cthulhu something, all those tentacles, like a tentacle Fu Manchu. Oh, those tadpoles? Yeah, no, I, I have the, the same um, same response. Oh, wild. They're like translucent. Ugh. Oh, nope. More tentacles. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. I got a thing about my eyes. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, and he forces you to look. Oh, what a dick. Ugh. Oh, it's in focus. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's gross. Oh, Jesus. I remember I was in a car accident and I had a, a scar tissue on my eye and uh, it's not good. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. I've heard a lot about this character creator. Okay, so we've got some choices to make. Let's see. So select our origin. We could either be male or female. I'll choose female. I remember usually when I'm playing, I'll, I'll play as a female character as um, a Schlen. So let's see. What's this? Custom. So we can only choose custom right now. Doesn't seem like we not available in early access. Okay, fair. And I'll just make... Uh, hmm... Normally when I choose a character, I use a fighter or something uh, that's like brute force-ish, but I think we're going to try something a little more agile, maybe like a, a bow user or something. So we'll go with this. And usually whenever I have a fighter, I'll name them Ashlen. And then if I have some type of like rogue or hunter character, then we'll go with Rin. So we'll do that. So like the background, background proficiencies. Add your proficiency bonus to any role made with insight. Acolyte. You've spent your life in a temple. You're an expert in manipulation. Oh my. You have a history of breaking the law. Oh, I mean, that's obviously that's <laughs> acrobatics. Oh, I love it. Entertainer and performance proficiency. Any role made with performance. God, there are so many proficiencies available. This is kind of nuts. Folk hero. Animal handling and survival. I like that. You're a champion of the common people. All right. I like that. Guild artisan. Noble. Hermit. Al oh my god, there's so many. Athletics and survival. Sailor. Soldier. You know what? I kind of like the athletics. I like the survival. So that's Outlander. You grew up in the wilds learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. But there was also that other one that we saw, which was uh, animal handling and survival. So it's a difference between animal handling or athletics. I feel like being able to have some type of uh, ally would be kind of cool. And I, I guess maybe that's a little stereotypical, but I will go with it. I'll go with it. Animal handling it is. Here we go. Folk hero. You're a champion of the common people. So we're done with this. We'll go to race. Drow. Tiefling. Human. Githyanki. Oh, that was the lady in the in the very beginning intro. 
Uh, we got a dwarf, a super tiny. I like how the camera zooms in. Half elf. I played a half elf when I played Baldur's Gate 2. I remember you kind of, kind of, sort of see in the dark a little bit. There we go. Okay, so out of all of this, you know what I've never done? I've never played as a drow before. I think mean, she looks really freaking cool. I'm um, you know, interesting to be a folk hero drow, right? Uh, Selec sub race. Raised by Loth's cult in the city of Menzo Baranzan, these drow extol the virtues of their corrupt and merciless goddess. Loth marks her followers with bright red eyes so the Underdark will learn to fear drow on sight. Oh my god. Are we are we like uh, evil or something? Drow are the result of an ancient schism between the elven deities Coralin Larethian and Loth. So there's one or the second that you can choose. And their race features. What are the difference? Cantrips. Create wisps of light that illuminate a radius. So it's the same either way. Superior dark vision. You can see 24 meters in the dark. So it's the same. Hand proficiency. Hand crossbow and short sword versus hand crossbow, short sword, rapier. So it's still the same. Dexterity and charisma. Still the same. The only difference is... Oh, no, it's like exactly the same. <laughs> it's just that the description is a little longer. You know what? We'll go with the first one because I don't know any better. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll go race. We're drow. Uh, we'll go over to appearance. Let's see. What do we got? Hells. Something just woke up down here. Oh, that's a cool voice. A tidy slot. Oh, a guy. No. The stone's less worn here. Hells. Something just woke up down here. A tidy slot. The stone's less okay, so there's only four choices. We have this one. Recent. Hells. Something just woke up down here. The stone's less worn here. Recent. So Hells. Something just woke up down here. So this one's a little softer, so I'll go with that. Let's see. Face. Face. Okay. Uh, can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Holy crap. This is detailed. If I go all the way in. Head one, two, three. Four. So there's four different faces. Five. I like kind of like three. Three and four. Four's got the freckles. Three without. We'll go like that. And you know what? They said that they have red eyes, right? That's just kind of a given. You got kind of got like the nuclear red and the deep red. We'll go with that deeper, darker red. Hairstyle. You know what? I really like her hairstyle already. But I wonder what other options they have. 24 we started with? Oh my. So regal. Oh, that is awesome. I could spend a long time on the character creator. <laughs> I might have to speed this part up. So we were at hairstyle 24. I really liked the 24 up front. God, they've got some cool like side shaves and everything. Although I have to admit, some of these don't really look like they would fit the drow. I like the three-quarter. Oh, that's nice. Very taciturn and ready. Oh, that's a cool haircut, too. I dig it. But you know what? I really, really, really like the default that they had. They did a really good job with that preset, yeah? 22, 23, and 24. 24. That looks cool. I like it. All hair colors. Oh, my goodness. There's so many. White, white seems to be the way to go. Maybe we'll just kind of speed that up and just go with that instead. Makeup style, you know, don't really need it. How about class? Okay, here we go. So cleric, cleric's usually like a healer, yeah? Healer, tank, sort of, like a paladin. Clerics are representatives of the gods they worship, wielding potent divine magic for good or ill. Fighter, which I'm normally, I'm normally a fighter when I play these things, but uh, I think I want to try something a little bit different. We got ranger, which I'm kind of leaning towards, especially for the drow or elves or anything like that. And we got a rogue, a warlock. Bound by a pact to an all-powerful patron, warlocks trade their loyalty for supernatural abilities and unique magic versus wizard. Wizards master the arcane by specializing in individual schools of magic, combining ancient spells with modern research. So it looks like the difference between the warlock and the wizard... I actually don't know too much about the differences. I know, like, wizard usually, like, um... I think the way it worked, at least in Baldur's Gate 2, you would have a certain number of spells that were available per day, and then you had a rest. And I've never been one to play games where uh, you have to have like a lot of consumables that you use. And I saw spells as consumables, so I kind of stayed away from that. Obviously, with a ranger, you have arrows, which are kind of your consumable. But, you know, I can deal with the physical a lot better than I can with the uh, with a magical like having to rest where you can just like craft or find uh, things like that. So, you know, what? I'm going to stick with a ranger on this one. 
unrivaled scouts and trackers honing a deep connection with nature in order to hunt their favored prey. Let's see, favored enemy. What are we talking about here? Gain proficiency in investigation. Creatures you restrain have a harder time escaping. Okay. Keeper with a veil. You specialize in hunting creatures from other planes of existence. You gain proficiency in arcana, and you can cast protection from evil and good. Okay, so maybe like undead, things like that. Mage Breaker. You have a history of battling spellcasters. Gain proficiency with arcana and the true strike cantrip, which gives you an advantage on attack rolls against the creature. That sounds powerful. That sounds really powerful. I mean, usually, if you're a physical user, I find at least, as a physical user, I have trouble with the opposite, right? So, like, magic. So, being able to fight against mages seems, like, right up our alley. Ranger Knight. Oh! Oh, I like Knight lore. What is this? You've sworn to serve a crown or nation and seek to bring its foes to ruin. Gain proficiency with history and heavy armor. Holy crap, that sounds badass. I mean, I don't know if I need the heavy armor. I mean, I always want to wear heavy armor, but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to stick with something a little bit lighter. Sanctified Stalker, you swore to hunt the enemies of a holy or druidic order. Gain proficiency in religion and the Sacred Flame Cantrip, which deals 1d8 radiant. Wisdom is your spellcasting ability for this spell. I'm curious what radiant is. If I select this, will it appear? No, it doesn't adjust that. I'm going to stick with Mage Breaker. That seems really, really useful. Uh, Natural Explorer, let's see. You've cultivated a strong bond with animals. I like it. You can cast a fine familiar. Heck yes. Urban Tracker. An expert at navigating the wild within the city. You gain proficiency with the disguise kit and thieves tools. Oh, wow. Anytime you can pick a lock or, or get around like that, that seems really useful. But I, I'm kind of leaning into the animal handling here right now. Wasteland Wanderer. Cold, fire, and poison. Gain resistance to cold damage, taking only half damage from it. Fire. And poison. We're going to stick with Beast Tamer. That kind of lines up with our animal handling choice down there. Now, let's see. Maximum hit points per level, 11. Class features. We got a bunch of proficiencies. Oh, we can wear medium armor. That's cool. Shield proficiency, simple weapon. Add your proficiency bonus to attack rolls uh, with simple weapons and martial weapons. All right. This seems all seems good. Normal. I mean, it makes sense that that's a default. Yeah. Let's see, skills. You see, receive a bonus to every skill you're proficient in. This bonus increases as you gain levels in your class and applies to all checks for that skill. So we got three skills with proficiency, skills without proficiency. Slight of hand. So we're, we're no good with these. <laughs> we already chose survival. We already chose animal handling based on our background. So we can choose three more. So let's see. Athletics, climbing, jumping, or swimming. Insight, read people, situations, deceit, investigation. Extracting information, whether from objects or people. Nature, an expertise on flora and fauna as the primal rhythms and patterns in the world around you. I kind of want this one just because it makes sense if we were uh, like a folk hero out in the wild, yeah? But the other two, let's see what we got. Let's go in and uncheck these just so that I, I see. Perception is how your senses work together, detecting the details of your environment and anything out of the ordinary. Okay, that makes sense for a hunter. And stealth, the ability to sneak using silence and cover to avoid undesired attention. That makes sense if you're out there in the wild I as well. Oh gosh, these are these are tough. From a lore standpoint, I'm going to choose from a lore standpoint, so I will stick with the default of stealth, but I got to say that normally I'd probably go with like... Although if we're a folk hero, maybe we're not the stealthiest thing around, but we can read people a little better, yeah? How about this? Bunnies, we're going to do this the HBFT way. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to go... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're going with stealth. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes. Truly scientific method. You got to freaking love it. And finally, our abilities. Let's see. So dexterity. So let's just go over these. Strength. Strength influences your chance to land a hit and your damage with strength-based weapons. It affects the distance you can jump and the weight that you can carry. Very useful, but see, dexterity. Dexterity influences your chance to land a hit and your damage with dexterity-based weapons. It has your influences your chance of going first in combat, the enemy's chance of hitting you. So like dodgy bows. So this is kind of what we primarily will want, right? Constitution is probably our health, the amount of damage you can take. Intelligence. Wizards use intelligence as their spell casting ability. The likelihood spells will land, so not as useful for us. Wisdom. Druids, rangers. And clerics use wisdom as their spell casting ability. The likelihood spells will land. Okay, good. Charisma. Bards, paladins, sorcerers, and warlocks use charisma as their spell casting ability. The likelihood spells will land. So it seems like wisdom, dexterity, and perhaps constitution are the most important. So let's go in and drop our strength. 
so that we can get more points. We'll go, uh, you know, we're charismatic. We'll go down to 10 here. And let's see, what's our plus to hit? So if we go down, you'll see that our we get plus two out of this. If we go higher, we, we don't get any better. So we'll just stick with the bare minimum that we need to get these bonuses here. And then our wisdom, we'll get our wisdom up. This is just for spell casting, right? For charisma. Might as well get constitution so that we can, we got two more points out of this. There we go. We'll go 16, 15, 15, and then charisma. Okay, there we go. We will try it like this. Let's move Tell to the. Me. Who do you dream of at night? Who attracts you? Oh my! All right, all right, fair enough. Well, I am a human in real life, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna choose a human here. So let's see, humans. There we go. That that'll do. The most common face to see in Faerun. Humans are known for their tenacity, creativity, and endless capacity for growth. We chose voice four. I'll go with voice two. Uh, let's see faces. What are we looking at here? One. How many faces are there? best way to do it just go backwards right to eight okay uh, i like out of all the faces the one i find the most attractive is either like four or one i guess we'll go with we'll go with one i'm so plain jane <laughs> and i do like green eyes so i'm gonna immediately go to green eyes here and uh we're going to choose hair color i like red hair uh so we'll go with not not like pink how how deep are we talking about here oh these are these are very unnatural so we'll, we'll that's very fiery you know what why the heck not we'll go we'll go all the way with this we'll go super unnatural red all right there that'll work tattoos the, oh, oh, oh that's cool i like that oh uh, sure why not we'll go with that um won't mess around with makeup too much i'm sure they made a great choice uh, let's see hairstyle what are we oh my goodness that's cool God, I really like this hair. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this one. Easy, beautiful, freaking love it. All right, here we go. Venture forth. I wonder where that thing went in our eye. Do we? Can we? I mean, obviously we can still see, but that frightens the heck out of me. That thing had like teeth and everything on our eyeball. Looks like there was some kind of battle, and uh, some of his own people died. Right. Is he like the last of his kind or something? You can kind of see in the side of his head. Oh! It's like a squid airship. Oh, this is not good. God, the graphics are incredible. For early access? Oh, dude, ring the freaking bell. Ring the bell now. Go! <laughs> dude! Or light the torch or whatever you got to do. Come on, buddy. Oh, God, you, you've got quite a ways to go. Oh, he's not going to make it. Wow, this guy is perceptive. He knew that's where the alarm was. What the hell? Oh! They can just teleport people? So he's, like, capturing them. Oh my god, is he going to turn them into his own people? Did they all start as other races? Does he have allies? Those do not look like allies. Dude, what a way to start. <laughs> I feel like it's like Star Wars. All right, Rogue Squadron. Stay on target. <laughs> Oh, come on in the water. Oh, badass. What a bond. Oh, Jesus. Oh, isn't that where we are? Are we going to get toasted? Well, that's freaking fancy. It's like he's playing a musical instrument. God, they just followed him? Whoever these are, they're fearless. Oh, 
God, Larian went all freaking out. Come on, come on. You gonna jump again? Miss jump? Oh, we lost them. Holy crap. Okay, not good. Oh, she got out. She's Githyanki, right? God, she looks crazy. Look at her armor. Dear God. Why does everyone look so badass in this game? Oh, look at that. Is that a three? Like Baldur's Gate 3? Where the hell did we spawn? I'm guessing those are not for allies. So obviously we don't want to be on this ship, but at the same time we're under attack. So what are we going to do? Oh wait, a little T pose there. Is that us? Journal updated. Escape the Nautiloid. My head. L. L's our journal. Find a way off the Nautiloid. We've been abducted by mind flayers and infected with some kind of parasite in your eye. We need to find a way off the ship. Fair enough. Oh, look at that. Freaking badass. Excuse me. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Might still be stuck inside if we haven't been attacked. Okay. So I guess that threw us loose of the pod. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. How do I move? Basic movement right here. Click on the ground or hold left mouse button to begin exploring. Okay, fair enough. Oh, there we go. More pods. Someone else got out. That's got to be our... our friend out there, if she's our friend. Are there more here? Oh, it looks like an autosave. It's always the biggest thing is figuring out what you can and cannot click on. Yeah, what the heck is this? This is that, that tadpole this is the thing, right? That thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigate. Investigate the pool. Oh, a die! All right, here we go. We got to hit 11 out of 20. Yes! Nailed it! The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. We should touch it then. Reach towards the pool. Its casing crumbles beneath your hands. Yeah, I don't want that Such around. Seems good to... Oh, what? I was just going to say, I, d I just don't want whatever the heck was in there to, to be around. So I guess it was worth the damage that we took. But oh my god, we only have 12 hit points. Oh, what is this? Mind Flare? Blood? Someone's dead here. Potion of Speed. Avoid Bulb. You can throw it and create a force that pulls in all nearby unfixed items. Like a vortex dead. grenade or something? Good. These different pods? Wonder who was inside. I don't know. I guess the only way to see what you can click on is to do... This is my old trick. <laughs> That's where we came from. So we got to head in this direction here. What was this glowing doohickey? Restoration. Oh, I guess we got our health back. Better. Fancy that. All right, now let's... Oh, hello. It's like the automatic doors at the, um, at the grocery store. What the hell happened here? There's a bunch of dead imps those were what were attacking us at the end of the intro am i in the hell the hell is that oh my god i just realized there are so many tooltips here what are we missing basic camera control hold middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera wazda to move it as well okay we were already doing that dice this game uses dice to determine outcomes. The dice are referred to as D+, a number indicating the number of sides on the dice. For example, D6 indicates a standard six-sided die. D4, D8, D10, D12, and D20 are other die. 
Inventory. Press I to access your inventory. Oh, okay. Looks like we can have potentially up to four different characters. I think in Baldur's Gate 2, if I remember, it's been so long, it was like six. So, hey, for this fidelity, I will take four. Absolutely will take four. Use home to center the camera on your selected character. You can also hold the left mouse button or click on your character's bottom left portrait to do the same. So if I click, I guess if I move the camera with Wazda out here and then click. Oh, you got to double click. Okay. And tool tips. Hold left alt to highlight objects you can interact. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, that's even better. Heck yes. Oh, there we go. Empty. Oh my God. That makes it so much better. So I don't miss anything. The scroll of firebolt. Hurl a moat of fire that deals 1d6 fire damage and creates a flammable surface. Surfaces, I remember, were really, really important in uh, Divinity origi Original Sin 2. A lot of these bulbs that we can throw. Dark Mind. Oof. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a moment just to adjust the audio because I feel like her voice is so much lower. So we'll go down to 90 like that. There we go. All right, let's go. Uh, where are we headed? Left alt. I don't see anything here. I am hearing some weird voice over here, though. Help us. Oh, it's an elevator. This does not look good brain jar hmm. oh a chest us. uh yeah i don't know demon what is it oh money heck yes can always use some more money i will loot all your chests avoid bulb that's like that uh, vortex here. uh yeah. I know we're perceptive, but I don't know if that's going to help us here. Oh! Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh, perception Please. check. Before they return! They return. Who am I talking to? Man or brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. Oh, like the mind flayer? No creature like this. One that is more brain than person. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Uh. Go. Destroy the brain. Oh, oh, oh. All right, maybe maybe that wasn't the right choice. <laughs> God. Ugh. Well, it stopped talking, bunnies. It stopped talking. Can I loot that? Mirnath. I'm guessing that was a creature. Uh, hopefully that wasn't an, a companion, but he looked way past the point of saving. All right, let's, you know, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, nobody had to see that. Nobody, nobody will know that we killed um, killed a potential ally. I did that in Wasteland 3 too, apparently. Looks to be the way out. Oh my god, look at his background. Oh, jump. Use jump to reach higher places and jump over obstacles. Oh, down here? Okay. Jump, disengage. Go. Heck yes. Oh my god, look at this. Let's go. Uh oh, auto save. I don't know about this. Oh, hello. Abomination. This is your end. Oh, is she talking with her mind? Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past a dragon's wing. God, we look so cool. Sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Oh, she was thinking. Squaw, you are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. 
Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Transform? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich. Mind flayers. Oh, crap. Um. We're turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Okay. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine. Though it pains me to say it. What? We're a badass. Alright, well, onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Okay, fair enough. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Keep moving. There are imps here? Oh, there are imps. Okay, combat tutorial. Combat happens in turns. Each turn you can do one action and one bonus action. You can also move. God, the music's badass. A roll of the die decides the turn order. This is called initiative and is influenced by our dexter- Oh, our dexterity's maxed out. Your available actions are highlighted. Bonus actions are actions you can perform on top of your normal action. So we can do one of each of these. And then the movement bar shows how much distance you can cover during your turn. All right, fair enough. So we can do one of these, one of these, and we can move per turn. Uh, what are we looking at here? One, two, three. I see three targets right now. Uh, shot out. What are we looking at? Main hand attack slash ranged attack. That seems to be the way. Or pin down. They're kind of flying, so I don't know if we'll manage that. 95%. Let's go. Oh, we rolled a 20. I'm guessing that was a crit. Click here to end your turn when you're ready. All right, we'll hold. God, we nailed the hell out of that person. All right, full speed, full speed. Let's go. And then here they come. Oh, we dealt five points on that. All right, finish them off. Finish them off at range. Heck yes. Enemy down. All right, we just have these two left. So now it's two on two. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and just move a little bit closer and hold. All right, all in, all in. She seems to be melee focused, yeah? Although, you know what? Does she have a ranged attack? Oh, she does! Yes! Wow, we're getting super lucky here. Probably should have shot a little earlier, yeah? Oh, we dodged the heck out of that. Beautiful. Probably our dexterity. Oh, God, we're beasts. They can't touch us. Threatened. I wonder what that means, threatened. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Get that shot out. Focus fire first. Enemy down. Beautiful. I will tuck on up. And hold... Let's see, what does threatened mean? Will it tell us if we go to our inventory or maybe like a character screen like C? No, that doesn't work. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Main hand. For four. And hold. God, they can't touch us at all. And send. Beautiful. Flawless victory. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Yeah. Now, to the hell. We are badasses. Oh, healing. What's this? It's important to heal after a fight. Certain potions, spells, and food can heal you. On this Nautiloid restoration stations can also heal you. But we don't need any healing right now, so we're all good. Can I select both of us? Looks like she's following. Or intellect devourer. Not burn ourselves. Mind flare. Got a loot. More of those bulbs. I hope. Okay, so we got a health potion, another bulb. How do we get up there? Could do we just automatically climb? Heck yes. Oh, a long sword, and we got a short sword right now. I think we have a proficiency in short swords, but not long swords. Scroll of mage armor. Usually, scrolls I think are only like one-time uses, right? Don't see anything else here. Not a Lloyd tank. Target is too heavy. Oh, no, I want to pick up the whole thing.
uh, looks blocked here, so let's take the stairs. I mean, we could restore, might as well. Don't really need to. And one last thing, we want to go to the inventory. Let's take a look at Le Lezel. Is her name equipment? What about equipment here? Long sword, consumables, ingredients. What about toggle character sheet N? Oh, there we go. Cool. So we can see what are what are her proficiencies here? Intrinsic. She's a she's a fighter. Okay, great. Gift Yankee, level one fighter. So she's probably good with all kinds of weapons. Yeah. So let's take a look at ours. Drow weapon training. Short sword, crossbow, and rapier. So I wouldn't want to equip this. I think we'll get a... If I were to equip it... I'm assuming that since I don't have a proficiency with it, it's it's not going to be as effective. So I'm just going to put the short sword on and uh, let's go. I wonder where they would, they would show that, though. Oh, they're back? It's like an artillery bombardment. Do we have to fight that? Oh, hell no! <laughs> Oh, did we fall? Are we? Did we fall down? Oh crap! Blast cannon. Do we have to use a cannon or something? All right, there's a way up. Oh oh oh! Hello, shoot it. Go. Are oh, they coming? They're coming. Ooh! All right, we actually took damage this time. Not good. Not good. Three's a lot out of twelve. Yeah. Get that follow up and shot out just for two, just for two. Let's pull back, pull back. We're not the front line here. Or any go. I'd like to draw their attention so we'll get a nice hit here from the back, moving us a little closer to our opponent. And heck, let's try this bonus shove. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just moved us closer to the ranger, but, um, oh boy. Yep. Oh, we, we flubbed it, didn't we? Oh, jeez. Wow, they are focus firing. Okay, hold up, hold up. Um, let's get a shove. It's a bonus action, 55%. Beautiful. And we'll get the shot off. We only need to hit for two. Heck yes. Heck yes. Now let's go up the stairs. Put ourselves between our ranger and the enemy right there go for the hit 95 heck yes ask for talking about bunnies do need to heal though see i know we had some potions yeah this is our inventory i'm surprised i don't do i see everything let's see all of it there we go potion of healing drink it heck yes we're all up beautiful can i loot these pierced thrall in the middle of battle, we're surprisingly calm. All right, what do we got? Oh, what the? Can we use these? Can we use these cannons? Uh, what is this? To the helm. <gasps> you are needed to survive. Oh, the brain thing. Following you doesn't seem like a good idea. Imperfect. Fine to the helm. Do not delay. Do not delay. Uh, all right. Weird. I don't like those things at all. I mean, I was going to go to the helm anyway. Battle axe? What's this? I'm a bit peaked, Mom. I think I'll go to bed early. The Mind Flayers have already enthralled him. Leave him, or we will share his fate. Oh, wow. All right, so that guy's done, I guess. What about her? So I'm assuming that when they say throw out small bottle, a mysterious liquid is dried to the bottom of the bottle. Ugh. I'm assuming that when they say that they've been enthralled, that they're, they were under control of the Mind Flayers already, so this it's too late. They don't have their mind anymore. Oh, these are the automatic doors. 
Apparently we don't have to worry about arrows. That's pretty cool. I guess. One thing that I really, really like about physical characters. Not having charges. Oh god, it's like the inside of an organic being. Ugh, it's gross looking. Oh yeah. That's nasty. Isik, back! Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. I touch everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Backpack? Definitely want a backpack. Will it increase our holding capacity? Gold agate. All right, so we can sell that. What's this? You! Get me out of this, Tamsi! We have no time for stragglers. Wow, she's very direct. I guess makes sense as a fighter. Arcana. There's magic at work here, but what kind? Oh, are we got to roll. Our intelligence is pretty low, but it's 6 out of 20. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes. Runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. So where are the runes? Look for a latch that might open the lid. Try to disrupt the bright lines of magic with a touch. Well, if we need to disrupt the runes, then I suppose it would be the magic. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Oh, drow. Okay, so we got a racial. You might as well be trapped in demon webs. There is no helping you. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Can I shoot it? It has infinite health. That doesn't help. Can I interact with it? Not die here. I cannot. I won't let me do anything. Target's too heavy. Nothing to interact with. What about what about this this table here? Destructible environment. Some parts of the environment are destructible. Press left control to target an object for attack. You kind of already figured that one out. Let's see, what are all these? Another mystery. Arcana failed. Can't read, read this script. script. Annihilate. Annihilate. Well, that's not good. What about this? Can I check again? Can't read this script. So I don't want to do this right one. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. It's like he's been lobotomized. All right. Well, I don't want to do. Okay, so we got three switches. I don't want to do annihilate. Sigil, sigil. Uh, left one. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Ooh. Okay. Well, what about the middle one? She made them hostile. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Acid. Reduces armor class by two for the duration. Remains while on the surface. We got to get off this thing. All right. Fair enough. That's not too bad. All right. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Let's get this shot. Shot forward. 80%. All right. Enemy down. Oh, that's a bummer. I didn't want to kill them. Hide. Can we hide? I don't know if that worked. Here he comes. Oh. Wait, shot out. Close range. Critical miss? Well, let's... I don't know. Can I push him? Heck yes. And hold. Come on, get off that surface. What if we... Can we jump behind him? Heck yeah. <laughs> Straight to the butt. I guess. Oh, crap. He's got one. The bunny league curse for sure. Ugh. Unnecessary damage. All right. Shot, shot, shot. Over the head. I'm so glad I didn't blast her in the head. But you know what? Uh, we had high enough dexterity. I'm pretty sure we're okay. Ah, oh, quills. Well, that doesn't help that lady at all. Like, bronze necklace. It looks like it's worth 75 gold. Obviously, in games like these, though, you know, you, you end up in a situation... Oh, restoration, thank God. You end up in a situation where, you know, whatever something's worth, you don't always get that amount back when you sell it, right? Necklaces. There we go. All these valuables. Inflict wounds. False life. Elaborate reliquary. Need a key. Need a key. Locked items. Locked doors and containers can be opened with keys. Some can also be lockpicked with thieves' tools or destroyed with spells. 
missiles or manual attacks. Well, I'm definitely going to attack the heck out of this thing. What do we what do we swap over to like our short sword? So we're doing like four points of damage each. I almost feel like we'd be better off with the actual fighter who's probably got higher strength, right? So we'll go ahead and get in on a swing here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot faster. 26. All right, come on. Open up. That's the hearty lock. There we go. Oh, it was empty. Or maybe we destroyed all the contents. <laughs> eh, go figure. That's the way that uh, HP kind of rolls. We are a bit brute force-ish. Oh, where are we headed? What the? Oh, there's another of those mine things. Can I just shoot it? Oh, oh, go away. Go away. How many hosts of these gay infected? Where the heck did it go? Can't interact with anything here. Viscous chairs, drained cleric. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. God, can I let any of them out? Oh, here we go. Drained cleric. Well, he's dead, so we don't have to. Elaborate key. Damn it. <laughs> Was that for the chest? Gold and a mug that we destroyed. <sighs> You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, like 100 where they had all the cryo chambers or like uh, the beginning of the outer worlds. Can't really interact with that. Well, I mean, there's a button here. She's trapped if I don't do anything, so might as well push it. Uh... Uh, we did I okay. Wait, I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> Change with the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Maybe we should listen to the Githyanki about not touching everything. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right, that did not help. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I think I'm doing more damage than good. Um, sorry about that, lady. Um, <laughs> you know what? This, this whole ship is going up in flames anyway, so... Um, you know, everything's fine. Uh, what up? Don't mind us. You know what? Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Looks like there's arrows heading this way. Oh, thank God. Cerebral Aquarium. The helm. Once inside, do as I say. It's probably a good idea if I do that. At this point, she's only been right. I like these aquariums, though. Brains. Here we go, bunnies. Does not seem good. Auto save, thank God. Oh, look at this. I want that sword. Oh, wow, the imps hate him. Wow, he's completely outnumbered. I mean, that's good, right? Oh no, no, there's another one. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do I'm not. It. We will deal with the gate after we escape. So we pretend to be a thrall. Okay, that I can do. Split these intruders open. A furnace is ours. Oh wow, flaming sword doing burning damage. Here. Now. All right, here we go. Here we go. As far as we can go full speed we know we've got range let's do it and hold one point Woo. god we're beasts we've got some incredible dodge potential all right here we go we got it we got to keep moving forward all right here let's get this shot on 
95 for five shove it bonus action and keep moving keep moving all right full in full in finish off our enemy oh no <laughs> not good shove hide all right let's hide <laughs> no we didn't hide oh jesus a short sword should do the trick i think it was like 1d4 or something oh god that that's not good third one oh wow while well, the gate is uh in a bind here if this ship hits the ground we're dead oh, let's go keep moving forward five uh can we shove him like off i guess he flies so it doesn't really do anything that doesn't help all right go all right main hand attack there we go there we go keep moving can we use this potion as well oh heck yes all right five so we, we kind of overhealed a little bit oh for one glad we're not burning though oh well they know the weak one heck yes all right nail him beautiful beautiful oh can we loot as well oh it doesn't cost anything all right fair enough full speed full speed All right, let's get the shot while we're still in range. Oh, yeah, her dexterity is definitely not as high as ours. And go. It's clear. Hurry before they strike. We're trying. All right, loot while we're here. Can we move? can't move oh crap did that use up our turn crap I couldn't even shoot after that oh we got more in front of us Whew. so remember our healing potions heal for five we've only taken one and two points there we go there we go shot fair enough let's go so look at this cleave swing your weapon in a large arc to attack multiple enemies at once heck yeah <laughs> freaking beastly out of actions must short rest before use okay so so it's on like uh you can't use it all the time So we only have like one and a one and a six enemies left. How much do he have? He's got six. So let's pull forward first. Ooh, okay. Targets of opportunity. I don't like that. Let's disengage. Disengage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Finish off the guy at range. Heck yes. shot out you know what only one of us has to get to that control right so let's try and block the way although we could just fly right over us oh that was a big hit i wonder if we can kill that guy probably don't want to stick around and find out 47 oh he's almost dead okay disengage disengage Can we jump? There we go. Oh, never mind. I guess we already triggered the target of opportunity. Oh, we can't jump very far. All right, we got it. Alien transponder. You made it in time. How do we know what to do with it? I know we saw in the cutscene, but. Uh... Oh, 
Oh. Oh, what the? I know we have to pluck the string, but how do we know to do that? Maybe we can read... Even though we're not a thrall, we can still hear instructions. Oh. Alright, so we did warp successfully, but we are on fire and burning and severely damaged. There goes the squid nautiloid. Yeah, <laughs> anyone who sees that in the sky is, is going to be terrified. That thing's weird. Oh, who's this guy? Looks kind of like an... An orc or something? Oh, drow? Well, some textures need to load in, but... Maybe my computer's not the best. Wow, they didn't even have to say anything. They knew exactly what to do. That is a well-disciplined army. I don't want to go up against that. Dude, how the heck are we going to get out of this safely? This ship is completely coming apart. Uh, get the heck away from me, dude. Your tentacles need to go. Oh! Oh! You see the blood splatter on the wall? I am not conscious right now, am I? I am totally unconscious. Oh, what? Who did that? Oh, no, I'm conscious now. Ravaged Beach. Okay, this is starting to look like Divinity Original Sins 2 now. Hells. Escape the Nautiloid. What do we got? We escaped hell on the Nautiloid. I can't believe I'm in one piece. Removing the Parasite. Find a way to remove the Mind Flayer Parasite. We've escaped hell on the Nautiloid and crashed somewhere back in the Material Plane. We need to explore the area and find a healer. Lazel, that's the Githyanki, told us that the Parasite in our heads will transform us into Mind Flayers. We need to find a way to remove it. Oh my god, and do we show on map? Well, I guess we don't have a map yet. That makes sense. Well, holy crap, bunnies. I'm really glad that we were able to choose a ranger on this one. Githyanki was a total badass, because if we didn't choose a ranger, we'd basically be fighter fighter and uh, doing the exact same thing. So uh, really, really good to have a little bit of variety here. I think the graphics are amazing thus far. I'm really impressed at the fact this is early access. Uh, the CG's insane. The voice acting is really, really good so far. And... Uh, the interface seems complex, but I guess we're going to learn it as we go. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you like the video, thumbs up always helps us out. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one with y'all. Have a good night.